Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sareas. I will continue the topic simple molecules and covalent bonds with the summary of the last lesson. Single covalent bond involves sharing of either two electrons or one pair of electrons. Double covalent bond involves sharing of either four electrons or two pairs of electrons. Triple covalent bond involves sharing of either six electrons or three pairs of electrons. The learning outcome is same for this lesson. That is describe the formation of covalent bonds in simple molecules, including molecules starting from H2 and ending on N2. Use dot and cross diagrams to show the electronic configurations in these and similar molecules. Here's the product table and valencies for you. Valencies of non-metals, group four plus minus four, group three minus three, group six minus two, group seven minus one. In today's video, I'm drawing dot and cross diagram of CH3OH. Its name is methanol. CH3OH, it's methanol. First, I will show the key on right hand side. We have hydrogen, carbon and oxygen. So I'm using blank dot for hydrogen, cross for carbon and dot for oxygen. So first of all, I will draw the dot and cross diagram. Then I will show you the display formula of this molecule. We have one carbon, four hydrogen and one oxygen. But you see three carbons are attached to one carbon. This is a carbon, C, hydrogen number one, hydrogen number two, hydrogen number three. And it, with this C, oxygen is attached. So we have oxygen here and the last hydrogen is attached with this oxygen. Let's show their valence electrons. First, I will start with the hydrogen atoms. One for this one, one for this hydrogen, one for this hydrogen and one for the last hydrogen. Let's show the valence electron for carbon. One, two, three, four. Now let's show the valence electrons for oxygen atom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the final dot and cross diagram for methanol. Now let's draw the display formula for methanol. If you look at the dot and cross diagram carefully, then you will find that only one pair of electrons is shared between two atoms. Therefore, there will be only single covalent bond in this whole molecule. I'm writing the molecular formula again, CH3OH. We are having C with three hydrogen, one, two, three. And in this, it's attached to oxygen and oxygen is attached to hydrogen. Now I'm showing the one pair of electrons with single dash line. You see, we have only single covalent bonds between each atom. So this is an example of molecule having only single covalent bond. Single covalent bond. The next one is C2H4. C2H4. It's known as ethene. First, I will show the key on right hand side. For hydrogen cross, I'm using cross. For carbon, I'm using dot. If you look at the molecule, there are two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. So we are having two carbon atoms. We have to attach these two carbon atoms with each other. This is an example of organic compound. Ethene is an organic compound. It belongs to the family. Alkene. There are four hydrogen atoms. Two hydrogen atoms will attach to each carbon atom. 
One, two, three, four. Let's draw the show the uh, valence electron for each hydrogen here. One for this one, one for this one, one for this one, and one for this one. We know that carbon belongs to group four, so it has only four valence electrons, which means it needs four electrons to complete its valence shift. So two electrons for each carbon atom will be shared with these hydrogen atoms. For example, I'm starting with this carbon. One, two. It's left with only two electrons and it needs two more electrons to complete its valence shift. So it will share these two electrons with the second carbon atom. One, two. Now I'm showing the valence electron for this carbon the same way I did with this carbon. One, two, three, four. If you'll see, there are two pairs of electrons between two carbon atoms. I'm drawing the displayed formula for ethene. C2H4. If you look at the dot and cross diagram carefully, I just told you that only one pair of electrons is shared between each carbon atom and hydrogen atoms, but between the two carbon atoms, we can see two pair of electrons are shared. Therefore, there must be double covalent bond between these two carbon atoms. So the displayed formula for this will be like this. For hydrogen atom, there will be single covalent bond. Now I'm showing the second double bond with red line. This is double covalent bond. Two pair of electrons are shared. Pair. Thanks for watching. Press like, give comments, and share my video. For more videos, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.